So while I sit here in the airport, one of the things that I'm wondering is, has technology really brought us to where we want to be? I mean, if you think about it, probably the best invention of humanity was to have toilets, basically running water and the ability to get sewage and direct it in a way that was easy for man to dispose of his waste. But all the other technology that's been developed over time hasn't really made us any happier. Are people really any happier today than they were a hundred years ago, two hundred years ago, a thousand years ago? If you look at reports in recent history, the people that are actually the happiest on the planet are in small communities or in areas where the poverty is actually a lot higher than it is in the well-developed countries that have been creating all this technology in the first place. The United States itself is a powerhouse of technology development and has been at the forefront of most technological advances in the last hundred years. And yet, there's been, as a result of that, what, creations of new diseases that nobody ever knew of, thanks to our experimenting with viruses in the lab. And sure, we've gotten rid of certain diseases, but in the meantime, we're also dealing with the number one killer in the United States, which is heart disease due to stress from being in a workplace that basically runs you to the, runs you out and stresses you out. So I don't think technology has done all that much for us, except created a venue for some people to get super wealthy and other people to be impoverished. I mean, do we really need to fly around the world and see other places? Is it really that important? What about enjoying the simple things in life? What about enjoying where you are right now? Without having any, any want of having things to be better, whatever better is. You know, technology is supposed to be fixing problems for people. But in many ways, it's only created more problems. Because as the original problem gets fixed, so that things can be done more efficiently, then there crops up a new problem, which is that everybody else has that same technology to do things more efficiently. And now, now the, the corporations that liked having the edge on the other corporations, now nobody has an edge. And so they have to create some new technology to make things supposedly better by making it faster. And yet, in all of this go, 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 let's get faster and better and stronger, we're getting more efficient at blowing things up. It's the military budget that actually is the biggest among any country in the world, well, any developed country in the world right now. And those budgets are used to develop machines that are there to destroy people and destroy civilizations. At least when we didn't have all this technology and people were more supposedly barbaric and less civilized, they couldn't kill as many people in one fell swoop as they can today with all the freaking technology we've developed. And once again, this technology has not made us any happier. People are at least as miserable as they were a thousand years ago, maybe more so, 
because they don't know how to enjoy the present moment. Their struggle with life and death that they don't have anymore has turned to a struggle for purpose that puts them into the throes of depression and anxiety because they don't know what's important anymore and they don't have a purpose and they don't have true desire true desire to even live so being in the field of technology myself I've watched as technology has developed and now we're pushing the envelopes with artificial intelligence and I was just reading an article today where Elon Musk reiterates his concern that artificial intelligence is going has the capacity to destroy civilization as we know it and yet we're developing at such a rapid pace that this is upon us right now and has the potential of taking over thought patterns th th taking over basically the thoughts of civilization influencing the way people think on a massive scale to the detriment of everybody it's no longer will people be able to discern what truth is because artificial intelligence will define what truth is it will feed humans exactly what they think they want to hear because artificial intelligence has the capability of reading people better than people can read people because it can do it without error and it can influence without screwing up and make decisions using information resources that no single human on the planet has access to. So this drive to be more technology developed to be faster, better, stronger. It's getting us not to happiness, but to desperation. So take a look at how technology is influencing your life personally and ask yourself if you really need this to have your life be satisfied. Just really look at that. That's what I encourage you to do for today. Ciao.